Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the next uh, letter in this uh, sentence's acronym, BAB, banner and button. So let's focus just purely on the banner itself. Put this down and let's have a look at what they expect from this. Uh, before we move on any further, let's have a look through these other requirements. This is very important to understand as you create products and as assets for your, your websites or modify assets, there are certain features or formats they expect. So in this one, uh, all previous um, videos that we looked at, or past papers we may have looked at, if you're in my class, you'll know what I'm talking about. A lot of them will have been taught, telling us to change the format to a PNG, PNG format. In this particular exam is saying that they want all images that we use to be in JPEG format and it must be less than 350 kilobytes. The video file that's been provided as well that we'll be using uh, later on in one of the tasks, uh, tasks or requirements uh, needs to remain, which implies that it's already in an MP4 format, which means that's going to save you some time in the exam. If you were to do this, you wouldn't have to convert it, you just use it as it is. So, um, so let's look at the template itself. So. A banner must be included using a suitable image, so we're going to define an image first, and it should extend to the width full width of the page, so it's going to be the same width as the template that we created in the previous uh, video. The name of the magazine is Create Mag, and with a full stop at the bottom, as the, uh, sorry, one second, is there a full stop at the end? Let's have a look at the top. No, there isn't. Okay, so good, so it's not part of that. So it's just Create Mag, capital C, capital M. Um, and the name of the magazine should also appear on the banner. So we know that the title for the banner is Create Mag. That needs to be on there. But it tells you here specifically. So if it tells you this, then we need to follow it. So even though, you know, we know uh, in English the name of anything, the street, a, a street, a place, a person should always be, or a name of a company should always have capital letters at the beginning. But it's telling you here in this case that, need, that we need to use lowercase letters, no capital letters whatsoever. So we're going to have all of this in lowercase. And the font weights for the words create, so the first word of this, uh, these two uh, names or these two letter words should be in normal uh, weight. And the second one, which is uh, mag, needs to be in bold. Okay. Um, and this will be clearer uh, in, a, in a moment. So I'm gonna, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the folder, the folder that's uh, been provided, the assets folder, and look at the images. Just get some inspiration. You don't need to spend a hell of a lot of time doing this. So... Looking through these, and you'll see there's a number of different images, and you can see, you can get an idea of what kind of color schemes you should be following. I mean, yes, they've given us two already, but you can see other things that are in there. So you can see there's a lot of blues and reds, yellow. So you can see you've got blue, red, yellow there, blue, red, and yellow, blue, red, blue, red, and yellow again. So you can see a theme running through it. Yeah, there's some green there, fair enough, but a lot of blue, red, yellow. This one's got a bit of gray in there as well. So Looking through these, I reckon I'm going to use something like this for my banner. But I also spotted something. Um, let's have a look. Yes. There it, is. there it is. Okay, so. Now, I don't know whether this is going to be possible or not. I'm going to give, I'm going to give it a go. Now, in most websites uh, um, or past papers, they usually give you a logo. What you'll notice here is that there is no logo provided. Okay? There is no logo provided. So... We don't have to have a particular logo in, in that we have to use, and you don't have to go out your way to create one. If you, if you have the time, if you want to, by all means, go for it. But I have, like I said, noticed that in this image, where's it gone? I'm being blind now. Um, there. It's got the name of the company right there, and you can see it's all lowercase, and just like in the uh, criteria, mag is bold and create isn't. So that's what we're basically going for in our banner. I'm going to try also to re replicate that font as well as best as I can and in fact maybe even go for the same colour that they have gone for um, just for the consistency because like I said here it tells you they want consistency consistency so that's what I'm going to go basically try to do as best as I can so let's get this started banner for a banner and you need to remember this guys you know in my, in my classes we use three main software for this unit um, Dreamweaver for the website itself Fireworks for the buttons and um, Adobe uh, Photoshop for the banner. So we're going to open Photoshop. There it is. Now we know that the width is going to be 1366. That's been provided for us already. So we just need to throw that uh, that that number for the width um, in there. Uh, but it's up to us as to how tall it should be. So file new. And here, a couple of things I want to highlight. 
always make sure this says RGB. If it says gray, you won't be able to insert anything that's gonna have any color, it'll just be black and white. So please make sure that says RGB. Secondly, make sure this says pixels. Make sure life a lot easier. 1366, there we go. Now we need to decide the height. So I'm gonna put 200 for now and just look at this and make sure I'm happy with this. So we can see 200 will stop about there. That might be a little bit on the you know very short uh, side. So maybe 250, let's have a look at that. Go back to 100%. Uh, yeah, I think 100%, uh, sorry, 250 might be okay. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Just double check. Well, that's 300 actually. That's close to 300. So I might just leave it at 300 actually because otherwise it'd be too big. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go for 300. This height, there's no right or wrong. Uh, boys and girls, it is really a personal preference. What I would do though is just be careful that it's not like that. Yeah, the same height as your your buttons. It's going to be difficult to pass that off as a banner. It'll be it look more like a uh, a header rather than the banner in that case. So you choose the height itself. I'm going to go back here. Three thirteen sixty six. Press OK. Done. Uh, so you get a blank new canvas. I'm going to take the padlock off, very simply double click and press OK, done. And I need to get the picture in, the picture that I want. Now, two ways you can do that. You can either just drag in the picture that you've seen, so there it is, and literally drag it in, or you can go to File and Open and find the image. Okay, so since I have it open, I'm just going to drag it in. So I'm going to make this smaller. There it is highlighted, just going to drag it in there. And I'll throw it in and it'll be a different layer as well. And then you can see it's in there. And I'm just going to put this on this side here. And I'm going to press Enter so that the cross goes away. And it's, it's, it's just there perfectly. I'm going to make this uh, back to, put this back to normal. Snap that to the top. There we go. And push that in. Okay. It also tells you the colors here. And I'm going to just test these right now. How style. Hashtag 333333. So let me just see what that actually looks like. So I'm going to go in here and choose a color. Type it in here. 333333. And press OK. OK, so that is... If I type that in right, let me see. 333333. Yep, that's right. And that is a grey colour, and I don't like that. Can you see? It's a grey colour. So I'm going to try the next one instead. Double C, double C, six, six. Okay. Let's hope for a nicer colour here. Double C, double C, six, six. Okay, so that's got a yellowy colour to it. Right, let's try that. So book it. Click on that layer. Put it in the background. There you go. Okay, that's a, that is a little bit better actually. And cons now that I think about it, that's probably better for um, the logo that we saw. Not the logo, sorry, the title that was in this picture here, because it's basically the same color as that. Okay, but saying that, it might be hard to read. So maybe, maybe it's better for me to go back to the original color that we had before, which is double three, double three, double three. So there it is. Press OK and paste it in there. So it's a little bit on the dark side, but you know what? We have to be mindful about what's going to go on there. Um, so let's get the writing in next, which is the T. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see. There it is. My mouse decides to wake up. Okay. There we go. Get the T there and just drag it out. Okay, and I'm going to just type in Create mag. Uh, as you can see, the font there is not suitable. I'm going to find something as close to the original as I can. And let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's make it 72 for now. And I'm just going to have this one open. So we can see what it looks like. Put that there. And I'm going to zoom in just so I can see. There we go. It's not that in there. No, that's not the same. Okay, so I'm going to keep looking. Now, I don't believe you have to do this, but I think it is definitely better if you have something that looks similar. Okay, that's close, but I'm not happy with it yet. So, first things first, let's make this bold. Okay, bold, bold. 
gold, gold. Nope. Okay, so. I believe it's that one. There we go. Okay, just in case you missed that, guys. Oh, there it is. I've, I even I forgot where I was then. So on the top here, um, you should be able to click on this button here, and then this pops up, and you can click on the bold there. Okay. Um, what I need to do now is just double check, and I'm that there isn't anything closer to this font. No, okay. Is there anything else? Okay. Needs to be slimmer than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here for a second, just because I'm a perfectionist and my OCD won't let this go. I'm going to look for the um, font, and I'm ha once I'm happy, I'll come back to you. Okay, I'm back. I've managed to find something close to it. This is what I'm going to be sticking with, and I'm happy with that as well. And just to make this a little bit more closer to what we have on here, go on here, and this one will be... From what I remember, CC, CC, 66, there we go, and press OK, and I'm pretty happy with that. So let's maximize this, increase the size of this, uh, perhaps just type it in. Let's try 100, nope, still not large enough. Let's 150, that looks OK, let's maybe a little bit more, 60, nope, far too much. 50. Yeah, 50 will do. Click away. Black arrow to move it to where you want it to move, okay? And that's basically it. Um, I'm not happy with this picture, so I'm going to click on the image and go to free transform and just increase it a little bit. Perhaps there. And maybe I could even push it there just because I want to be able to see the person there we go uh, once you're happy just press enter yeah I'm happy with that so yeah I've got some color in there Ooh, push that in click on that push this in a bit more there perfect so I'm happy with that very simply file and we're gonna go to save for web and devices and we're gonna make sure it says JPEG and press save and we're gonna go into our folder so find your folder if I open it probably there we go and we're gonna call this banner and I'm gonna put banner one this time now those of you who um, find it difficult to create a rollover you don't necessarily have to make a rollover image here but i'm going to show you how to do a rollover one for maximum marks just to really impress them uh, the examiner also because you never know you might find yourself in an exam where it asks you to do that so if you have it as a uh, a skill something that you do habitually something you do automatically you don't ever have to think about it you're just doing it anyway and what i tend to basically do is either make a separate version of it or just change it slightly just so it looks different so when you hover over it it's it's obvious um so what i might do is simply um reverse the colors maybe so i'm gonna go to the back of this and change the color of this to cccc66 and this is just a very simple idea Use the bucket, make sure you click on the right cell uh, for uh, the layer. There it is. Um, oh, yes, that's why. I'm clicking. I'm saying click on the right layer and then click on the wrong one. Click on there. There we go. The text for that has disappeared because it's the same font. So I'll go back on here, use this arrow, and then go inside. There we go. And then you'll have to just 
find it there we go and change the font here and from what I remember it was three 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 my memory is poor sometimes there we go click away there we go perfect right and all we have to do now is go to file save it again but this time you're gonna put the name number two at the end so save and put number click on that and put number two at the end simple save and if I go back to my folder I should be able to see both the banners there both versions there and all we have to do now all that's left is go back in here click inside this and insert image objects rollover image find your banner so first things first give it a name um, let's be more specific company banner we're going to get the banner so go into our folders banner one say no to this banner two say no to that and we're just going to say image of the company name and uh, young lady working at her computer and you just press OK and then it should just pop in and because it's the right size you don't need to worry about it so as long as your table doesn't go and you know uh, further past this point your website is the perfect size okay and that's it that's how easy it is to create a banner and insert it